What time is it? It's time for a train review. Alrighty, this everyone is what I got for Christmas. I am so happy about it. And this came from my beautiful, lovely girlfriend. I got the Northlander by Trix. All right, so this is a manufacturer that is not very commonly known here in North America, but in Europe, man, this is the cream of the crop manufacturers for trains. All right, now when we flip it over to the other side, we're gonna see something over here in this corner right there. Uh, this is really cool. So it's a 14 volt analog or 22 volt digital. So this is DCC ready or DCC capable. So let's open up the box and see what we got inside. Oh man, that looks so beautiful. All right, so let's take the plastic off, which is really nice. Now after, let's go ahead and take this. So you'll see holes right here. You can actually put your fingers inside and pull out the styrofoam. All right, give me a second. All right, let's take the train out and let's see what's inside. Some reading materials. We got a pamphlet for Tricks Club, a manual here, which is really nice. Uh, it shows you actually how to load up the couplers, to clean it, actually take the body apart, which is really convenient. Which is All right, so this is uh, showing you on how to remove the motor. This one here is showing you on how to install the DCC chip into the train. Now this is one thing I'm going to be looking into. Uh, I've noticed that for the coach cars, they're using just regular conventional bulbs. I'm not really liking that. Over time, it, with the heating and cooling on the top of the rail car, it'll start flaking the paint and then, yeah, it's not going to look good. At the same time, it'll also make the plastic brittle. So I'm going to see if I can convert that into LEDs. Uh, here shows you how to change the traction tires. I do believe that this is actually in English as well. Uh, yeah, so it does have English. So we're good. Okay, let's see what this one's about. This one looks like it's the guarantee or the warranty conditions. Nice. And an exploded parts diagram. Very cool. Very cool. All right, let's put this back together. All right. I'm just going to be super careful because there are some highly detailed parts on this thing, which look amazing. Ha. Huh. So you have the motor car and then uh, three coach cars. We'll be taking a closer look at this one once it's on the track. Again, it's a regular styrofoam that's in here for the casing and then the nice soft plastic to protect it. And then we have a little baggie of parts. Basically what this is is actually the coupler bars to connect the, the cars together. So this train is not DCC, it's actually DC. And uh, my Leo is not equipped for DC trains. So I'm just pulling out this temporary Kado track to give it a test run to see how it look, see how it runs. All right, so let's put it on the track. All right, so first things first, we're gonna grab this little baggie with the connection bars. Take one train out. Now, as you can see, there's a little coupler pocket in there. And that's where we're going to stick one end of the
connection bar into. Now, when we got this from eBay, I honestly thought that this was supposed to be a used set, but as you can see, this bag is, hasn't been opened. And when I checked the wheels, the wheel sets, none of it's been ran, which indicates that this thing is brand new, which is freaking awesome. All right, so we got the one bar, and let's go ahead and do what the instruction says. Just take it and clip it into the pocket like so. Hold on. All right, so before I go any further, uh, I actually want to put this properly to see what side of the train goes in front. Uh, try to make this look as prototypical as I can. All right, so I'm going to be doing a Google search on the trains, North Lander. All right, so I found one image here on Google on my phone. So this is the motor car. And we got a bump. And this would be, I guess, the right side of the train. I, yeah, I think I actually am doing it right. Just figuring this out. That's connected, that's connected, that's, yeah. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. All right, let's continue. Put the last bar on. I got my trusty Cattle Rerailer, and let's go ahead, throw this on the track. One. Two. Maybe I should connect them first. Oh, this is going to be a little tricky. All right, there we go. Oh, this is making me so nervous. <laughs> Hold on. I am gonna do this, this way. Oh, why won't you connect? There you go. Oh. Sorry. Sorry everyone if my hands keep getting into the way. I'm just so nervous right now. Oh. All right, last coupler bar. There we go. So it looks like I'm not gonna need the re-railer. Okay, let's check to see how long the train is. All right, two feet long, 24 inches. With DC, you don't really have much control turning on the lights on and off. The only way to really control it is actually to turn this knob, all right? So we're gonna see on how, how far we have to turn this knob to get some light going on on the train, and then see how much more of the knob that we need to turn to get the train moving. All right, so this is a cattle power pack. Let's go ahead, throw it into forward. At the same time, we're gonna also be testing the slow speed. Okay, so this is about a quarter ways. Oh, there we go, we got some light. You can see a little bit there. So just a little bit past a quarter ways. So let's continue to move the dial until the train starts moving. See the lights are getting brighter. And right there, the train's slowly moving. Wow, this is so smooth, so... And this is just right out of the box. It hasn't even been broken in. Like, wow, look at how slow that thing is going. That's almost halfway. Okay, so let's just give it a little bit more juice so that way it's a little bit more steady. The train's jerking a little bit, like I said, it hasn't been broken in, but I'm pretty sure once it breaks in, it's gonna be running a lot smoother. Wow, this is so nice. 
I have hooked up a really sensitive mic to my camera so this way it picks up anything. So I'm going to stay quiet and we're going to run the train and we're going to see if we can hear any motor noise. All right, we're going to turn on the sensitive mic in three, two, one. Wow, that is so smooth and so quiet for an N-scale train. Absolutely fantastic. All right, so I did not hear barely any noise from the motor. All I was just hearing was the clickety-clack of the wheels going over the track. All right, so before I pack everything up and put it away, I'm going to break this train in. Uh, this is actually the best way to do it before it goes DCC uh, to break the train in. Well, the manufacturers say to break the train in uh, in DC mode. Now, I don't know if this is accurate or not. I know there's some mixed emotions. Some people say, oh, it doesn't matter. Some people say, yes, it does matter. For me, it doesn't really matter. I already have the train on, on the track here on DC mode. So I'm going to run the train 45 minutes in one direction, 45 minutes in the other direction, uh, break in the train. And then I'll just pack everything up and put it away. Alright, so that is it for the end of this train review. Overall, I'm going to give this train a good 9 out of 10. Yeah, it looks fantastic. A lot of sharp details. The motor runs absolutely quiet and so smooth. It is a really nice train. It's my very first uh, European train manufacturer, uh, Mini Tricks, And it's, I'm telling you right now, I am not disappointed. Uh, yeah, it's a little expensive, so is Rapido. But at the end result, fantastic trains. So worth it. I hope everybody enjoyed that one. Until the next time, keep on modeling.